Hey there, everyone, and welcome again to Wellness Wednesday. Finally picking it back up. Sorry for the long, month-long break that I took. Um, so just a reminder, I am Carrie Donahue, your um, health and wellness coach, and I am not by any means uh, a medical professional or a psychologist or a nutritionist or anything like that. Um, if you do need more professional help, you need to seek that out. I am here to talk to you guys about what I have read, what I have listened to, what I have learned, what I have implemented into my own life, and, and help you guys along your own health and wellness journey um, with my own tips and tricks and, and just experience with this whole thing. So anyways, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. It is May 8th. And I want to talk to you guys today about your relationship with food. So I posted about this actually yesterday on my social media, on Facebook and Instagram. And I talked about, you know, cha changing your relationship with food will literally change your life. And, um, and then, you know, followed that up with, you know, relationship. Of course, yes, we have a relationship with food, you guys. Um, and whether you understand that or know that or not, um, you have a relationship with food and it's been, it's, it's, it's sort of grown and evolved out of your life experiences. Um, so have you ever, you know, used food to celebrate? Have you ever had food there when you get sad? Have you ever, used food as a distraction, uh, you know, sort of a fill the void kind of a thing. You're in an awkward social situation. Oh, here, let me go grab some food. And then at least I can be shoving my face full of food, which makes it less awkward if I'm not talking. Um, have you ever uh, just eaten out of boredom? You know, you're sitting at home one day and you've got nothing to do, or you're sitting at your desk and you're like, I am so bored with what it is that I'm doing. And then you just feel that need to fill your mouth with food. That is your relationship with food, you guys. And it is not a healthy relationship. None of those things is a healthy relationship because food was only ever meant. To nourish our bodies. It's meant to be a great tasting way to give our bodies the essential vitamins and minerals and energy in the form of calories that it needs to be able to function day to day doing the things that you have it doing. Um, so that that's really the only reason that you should be eating food is because your body needs energy and it needs vitamins and nutrients and all your cells need that to function. But above and beyond that, you shouldn't be eating for cell, you know, kill, don't kill me. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger, but you shouldn't be eating because it's a celebration. You shouldn't be eating because you're sad. You shouldn't be eating because you're bored. You shouldn't be eating for any of these reasons other than your body needs energy and vitamins and minerals to feed the cells to keep you going. You shouldn't be eating for any of the other things. So we need to look at our relationship with food. And the first step is when you want to eat, ask yourself what you're feeling. Truly, what are you feeling? When you want to eat, so you go to a barbecue or a picnic or a birthday party and there's birthday cake or, you know, something else. Why do I want to eat that? Do I want to eat that because it's a celebration and everybody else is doing it? Do I want to eat that because I feel kind of crappy about myself right now? Do I want to eat that because I'm in a social awkward social situation and, you know, it just seems like the thing I should be doing is eating to fill the void. Oh my gosh, I have a hair literally right in front of my eye. Wow. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> um, why do you want to eat? Why do you want to put that food into your mouth? Okay. So that's the first question you should be asking. Am I actually, you know, why do I want to put that in my mouth? Is it because you're actually hungry? Or is it for any number of other reasons? What are you feeling at that moment? Either you're feeling hungry and like you should feed your body something or you're feeling something else, okay? So that's the first question. 
then you can tackle the question of, is that really the best food for me? Because if your answer is, I'm feeling hungry, like I need some energy, okay? Then you can start to get into the science of, is that food the best food? If it's white bread, something highly sugary, something, you know, um, that's going to spike your blood sugar, then you understand, you can understand, well, gosh, that's going to make me feel good for, an, for a moment. And then I'm going to come crashing down later because it spiked my blood sugar. It didn't give me long lasting energy. It just gave me a boost in the moment. And then it sends me plummeting later. Then you can start to make those, those more educated you know, decisions of what you should be putting in your body if the answer of what I'm feeling is I'm feeling hungry and like I need to feed my body some fuel. But if you're feeling any of these other things, happy, sad, bored, socially awkward, whatever it is, then we need to tackle those issues with something other than food. Okay. If you're happy, if you have something to celebrate, by all means, celebrate it. By all means, you might get up and do a happy dance in the moment. You might just, you know, you might have scored, you know, some sort of amazing thing at work. Just get up from your desk and just like dance around and don't give a crap what anybody else around you thinks, you know, scream at the top of your lungs like, yes, or whatever, you know, if you're in the right environment, like if you're at home, okay. Or, you know, get one of those little things that, you know, winds up and then you blow in it and it makes a noise and I can't even remember what the name of that is right now. But get one of those and blow it. Or, you know, go buy a bottle of bubbly and pop it and have four ounces. Seriously. Just the, the act of buying something, you know, fun like a bottle of champagne and then drinking just that little bit of bit, you know, little bit to celebrate something is going to make you feel good about celebrating it in a, in an extra special way without downing half a pint of Ben and Jerry's, right? Uh, or, or go buy yourself some, a bath bomb, go buy yourself a bath bomb, turn the lights down, light a few candles, and celebrate that way. There's a, there's a bazillion, I'm sure you guys can brainstorm a bazillion ways to celebrate something fun and awesome that have absolutely nothing to do with food. Okay. Or if you're sad, feel the feelings, feel the sadness. Okay. Food has become that thing that sort of shoves down those feelings. You don't want to shove down those feelings. You want to feel them. You want to explore them. You want to understand why. You want to feel the feelings. And if you, if feeling the feelings means you go lay down in bed for two hours, that's fine too. And then you can get yourself back up at the end of it after having sort of felt and discovered and, and, and really starting to understand what's going on and why you're so sad or angry or upset or whatever it is, and then find a more constructive way to deal with it, you know? Maybe it's putting a pillow over your face and screaming into it. Maybe it's punching a pillow. Maybe it's going and getting your stress out by running around the block a couple of times or going to a, a spin class or going to do something that, that just like, you know, do some core to force and like punch the air real hard. Whatever it is that you need to do to release those emotions and not shove them down with food. Okay. If you are eating out of boredom, find something that's not going to bore you, you know, go for a walk around the block, you know, listen to a podcast, uh, read a book, what do something with your hands, pick up a hobby that involves your hands. Okay. Do something so that you're not going to eat out of boredom. Socially awkward situations. I honestly don't have, I, I have no suggestions for you on that. Let's brainstorm some, some things that you can do in socially awkward situations besides go to the buffet and, and load your plate. You know, let's, let's do something else. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is, but, you know, if you have some suggestions, by all means, comment below and tell me what your suggestions are for socially awkward situations, parties where you don't know anybody. What can you do? 
uh, besides go stand in a corner. Um, so anyways, but it's, it's a relationship. You, we have all, you and me included, have grown up entering into this relationship we have with food and it does not serve us. It does not serve us in any way, shape or form. So we need to figure out what those things are that cause us to eat. Okay. What are the feelings and why am I eating? And if it's not for filling your belly and giving you energy and, and providing yourselves with the things that they need to function, then it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea to put that food in your mouth. So Start exploring your relationship with food and why you eat and find ways to do that differently. Find ways to tackle those emotions and those weird situations differently so that it's not food you're going to because food is not meant to be in a relationship with you. It's just food. It's just nourishment for our bodies. So anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you have questions on how to go about doing things, by all means, comment below, and then that way I'll know topics that I can tackle next time. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this May 8th Wellness Wednesday, and you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.